Hi there, folks. It's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the key things you need to do and understand to build a membership website as your side hassle for 2024. It's a great idea. You can be highly successful. I've got some great insights. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. Coming back, folks, so you're looking to build a side business um, in 2024 and you're looking at membership, building a course-focused website. And I've got great news for you. There's not been a better time to get into this type of side business and there's loads of opportunities and you can be successful. Um I think one of the most attractive things about this is it's totally possible to keep your full-time job and have the ability to build this side gig up, this membership business up at the same time. Totally doable. And it can lead, if you wish to, for you to have the ability to give up your day job. Or, but there's a loads of people that choose to keep the day job um, and run this as a totally side hassle. And it's totally possible. But, and there's always a but, there are some key things that you need to understand that will help you on this journey. Number one, the technology, the platform. Now, you've got basically two major um, choices here. Either you go WordPress or you go SaaS, software as a service. Um, WordPress drives between 40 to 45% of all websites, dependent on what statistics you look at. Um, been around a number of years, really flexible, and it's you have the most control over the business if you base it on WordPress. And the broad title for that is Digital Sovereignty. And that is really important, not building a business on somebody else's land, basically. Now, with SaaS, example is um, Kajabi, Teachable, um, Thinkific. They're, they're some of the biggest names in SaaS. Um, they can be a little bit easier to initially set up, um, but you are building on somebody's own, somebody else's land, basically. Um, so do keep that in mind. A couple of other things that you really will help you get this up and running is um, you really, your main objective is to try, obviously, to build up a community, but also get people's email addresses. Now, if you're, and you need to do this a little bit before you decide to build your course, but if you just want to go ahead and build it, there are methodologies that you can do that will help you in that scenario as well. But if you can think of doing this and have a little bit of time to attempt to build some kind of audience and get an email list, your first launch of your first course is going to be a little bit easier. Now, how do you do that? Um, basically, always have, um, always build some PDFs um, and offer them for the exchange of your email. Um, some kind of downloadable digital asset can be a PDF, some PDFs, or it can be a small little mini course that you offer for free um, if, for the exchange of the person's name and email address. Um, you always want to email the details, email the PDF to them, or um, the URL for the free course. So then you can make sure that the... Um, the email address that you're getting works basically. Why is this important? Well, um, 
to really build a, a successful launch, um, it's much easier um, to sell to people that you've had some interaction with um, before, basically. So they're not a totally what is called a cold audience. And also it's totally practical um, to um, build out some lead magnets, which was what they're called, PDFs or small mini course. And it's much easier to get to drive people to a specific landing page where they can get this PDF or free course or whatever your offering is, then trying to attempt to sell them a, a low a reasonably priced course initially. It's just gonna it's just gonna be easier. And how do you get people to sign up? Well, I would say the number one thing you've got to learn a little bit about is SEO, search engine optimization. And that applies not only traditionally to articles, blog content, um, but it also applies um, doing a bit of SEO when it comes to YouTube as well. And also um, building a Facebook community and page and aiming a niche at that particular page and link that page to a group and drive people to the page um, utilizing a bit of paid traffic that doesn't have to cost an enormous amount of money um, and also doing a bit of SEO research there's a there's a few tools out there that enable you to do some SEO research when it comes to YouTube that are quite inexpensive um, and also there are some tools out there there's plenty of info out there if you go to the WP Tonic website um, or join the Membership Machine Show Facebook group um, we've, I've got a load of information on those particular resources about this whole topic but it's a fundamental skill doing some research about which YouTube videos you're going to make what blogs content you're going to build up and also linking that to an effective campaign using a particular social media network. Um, these basic basic skills, um, which are totally learnable and don't require enormous amounts of time. You, it's quite great. It probably take a couple of months for you to get your head around this. But if you do, you then will be able to drive traffic to your lead, your low your free or very low price lead magnets. And that will enable you to build your email course, which is going to be um, your email course, your email list, um, which is going to be one of the main tools that you're going to utilize when you build out your larger course to enable you to market to people that have already obtain something from you i've written a whole article about some of the things you've got to know and you'll find that in a link underneath underneath this video if you want one-to-one -one chat with me you can go to the wp tonic website and book a free consultation with me and i can give you some advice about everything i've gone through in this video Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to the WP channel. It really does encourage me to make more of these videos. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.